In previous videos, we looked at Remix Route file conventions and Remix Route folders. These two techniques should be enough to cover pretty much all the use cases. However, if you want to have even more flexibility, you can use manual configuration for your application routes. After watching this video, you will learn how to use Remix Config.js to manual configure routes. We will use a slightly more complex example than Remix documentation shows. Almost every full stack application at some point or another will need API routes. You can have webhook processing or JSON API for a mobile app that reuses server side code with Remix UI. To make things more interesting, we are going to add manual route configuration for API routes to already existing route folder configuration that uses Remix flat routes package. In Remix project in the app folder, I added API routes folder. This folder contains two folders, comments, and posts. Each of these folders have the same file structure. It has index.ts file that will return either a list of comments or posts. It has comment.ts or post.ts that will return a single post. And it also have a comments data and a post data where the comments or post data is taken from. And besides these two folders, in the API routes folder, I also have index.ts file. This file returns route not found response when somebody decides to call slash API route. Now let's go to remix config.js file. In this file, we have route configuration that uses remix flat routes package. Let's go ahead and update this file so we can also add a manual configuration for the API routes. Let's go ahead and update the route function. We can actually use a shorthand so we can put routes and update it like so. And then instead of returning the flat routes, we're going to return an object where we're going to be splitting flat routes like this. This will give us the ability to put definitions for our manual routes configuration. So let's go ahead and add to this object the outputs of define routes function, and we'll take a function with a route. And first, we're going to be defining the API route. We use API routes index.ts as a second argument. And remember, this file returns 404 route not found if someone decides to visit slash API route. And the third argument is the function that defines posts. So slash API slash posts is handled by API routes post index.ts file. And as you remember, this file returns the list of posts. Next, we define the route for post by ID. And this route will be handled by API routes post post.ts file that will return the single post. Finally, we're going to define the comments for a single post route. And this route will be handled by API routes comments index.ts. In this file, we will check the post ID and return comments for that specific post ID. That's it for the post route. So let's go ahead and define the comments route. API routes comments index.ts file will return a list of comments. We use the same file to return comments for a single post or all comments. Loader function inside that file checks for post ID. If it exists, we return only comments for a single post. If it doesn't, oh, we return all the comments. Under the comments, we define comment by ID route that is handled by API routes comments comment.ts file that will return a single comment by ID. Let's go ahead and run npm run dev. And as you can see, we got an error. It says unable to define routes with a du duplicate route ID, API routes, comments, index. We used API routes, comments, index.ts for two routes to get comments for a single post and to get the list of all comments. Remix complains that we have the same IDs for two different routes. Let's go ahead and fix that. We can fix it by passing a third argument that will be an object that defines the ID and we can put a custom ID for that route. Let's call it comments by post. Let's go ahead and save. And again, let's try running npm run dev. Now, as you can see, everything is working. Let's go ahead and switch to the browser to make sure the folder routes are still working. Let's type localhost 3000 and we can still see about page, contact page, 
and then our dashboard. So everything is still working on this side. Now let's go ahead and switch to Postman. And first we're going to hit slash API route and the message is route not found as we expected. So let's go ahead and hit posts endpoint and we get a list of posts. Let's get a post by ID. We get the post by ID. If we put the ID that doesn't exist, we'll get a response that the post is not found. Let's go ahead and check comments for the post of ID of one. And we're going to return two comments. So let's go ahead and check the comments at endpoint. And if we hit it, we can see we get the list of all comments. And again, if we get a comment by ID, let's say two, we get a single comment. So it looks like the manual route configuration for API routes is working. Manual route configuration can be a great tool if you want to customize your route structure. However, I think folder route approach should be used in most of the cases. To learn how to use route folders in Remix, check out the following video. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.